In this quick tutorial, I'll show you how to classify monosaccharides. The question reads, classify each of the following monosaccharides as an aldopentose, ketopentose, aldohexose, or ketohexose. As you can see that all of these four words end with O-S-E, that means they are sugars. In addition, we can tell some information about these sugars based on the base of each word. Pent suggests five carbons, while hex is six carbons. In addition, if we have aldo, that means it's an aldehyde. It has this functional group and the rest of the molecule. And keto means that it is a ketone, which looks like this. You have a carbonyl and the rest of the molecule, where these are carbons as well. So given that information, take a look at ribulose. We have one, two, three, four, five. So the carbon backbone of this molecule is five carbons long. That means we can reduce our choices down to, we don't need to include that, those are six carbons, either this one or this one. And over here we have a carbonyl group, the carbon double bonded to oxygen. Then you have the rest of the molecule here and the rest where they begin with carbon. That right there is a ketone. So this is a ketopentose. Let's do the same thing for glucose. As you can see, glucose has one, two, three, four, five, six, six carbons. And we can tell that it's a hexose. And at the very top here, that's an aldehyde. I drew that earlier. So this is an aldohexose. Moving on to question two, classify the following monosaccharide erythrose as an aldotetrose, ketotetrose, aldopentose, or ketopentose. Let's take a look at these words. We have TET, which is four, like tetra. And we also have pent. So four carbons, four, five, and five. Our molecule has four carbons. So we can eliminate these. In addition, at the very top, it looks like we have an aldehyde because we have carbon double bonded to oxygen, a hydrogen bonded to carbon, and this carbon is bonded to another carbon. So out of these two, this one is the answer. We have an aldotetrose. So there you have it. That's how to classify monosaccharides. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below and we'll gladly assist you.